What's up guys, so today I'm going to go over how to mod your PSP and then also how you can get ROMs and emulators um, once, you, once you have it modded. Essentially what this does is it'll allow you to get any PSP game you want, like God of War, Final Fantasy Tactics, etc. And then also you can download emulators like uh, GP PSP, which is like a Game Boy Advance emulator, and it'll allow you to get any, any Game Boy Advance games. You can also do it for Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, etc. I can kind of show you what the Game Boy Advance one looks like. Um, you can see I have like dozens of games downloaded um, and obviously all the Pokemon games and we can click through to one real quick. Let's see. What do we got? We got Pokemon Emerald. Cool. So the few things that you'll need is obviously a PSP. You'll need a memory stick. You can see I have a 64 gigabyte one. Uh, but it really depends. Even much smaller sizes would be good. I have, I don't know, five or so PSP game and hundreds of Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games. Um, and then lastly, obviously you'll need a computer and um, a USB to, to mini USB so you can transfer data from your computer to your PSP. Awesome, so let's jump over to the computer. We can take a look. Okay, so when you have your PSP plugged into your computer, you should be able to go to your USB drive um, and check out the different things that you have on your memory card and on your PSP. Um, and then, so for, for us to do this, we're first gonna need to um, make sure that we're on the right version for the PSP. And that version is 6.60 or 6.601. You can find a ton of these down uh, online. I'll share a couple links in the, um, in the description, but if you just type in PSP 6.60 update, you should be able to find it. I did this in the last week using these links, so that's kind of how I done it. Um, cool, and so now what we'll need is we'll need the update on the PSP. So what we could do is we could go into our PSP USB drive, we go into PSP, we'll go into game, and then you can see I already have update here, right here. Uh, but all you'll do is you'll take it, take take it from the download, and you'll pull it into this the the game. What we'll also need is we'll also need um, the firmware. So the hack firmware that we're using is this six uh, 660 Pro C2. It's what everyone uses, from my understanding. Um, and I'll share a link once again in the description that I used to download this. But you can just search on Google and find. A bunch of different links um, but all you really need to go is go to PSP go into game and you want to copy all three of these and then you're gonna throw them into the same as you can see I've already done it into the same folder under PSP under game and then you'll throw the, the three here and so you should now obviously I'll have a couple more but you should have update pro update fast recovery and then this uh, CIPL flasher cool now let's go to the, the PSP and let's actually use these. Okay, so let's exit USB mode. And what you'll do is you'll go over, mine takes a little bit, and you can go to your, you go to the game folder, then, we, then you'll go to your memory stick. And now first and foremost, let's find the update. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this and you're gonna run it. We're obviously already on uh, 6.60, so nothing needs to happen here, but run it, and and then you can confirm after that downloads. It takes a little bit to reset. Um, you could go over to your let's find it, system settings, and then you can check your system information, and then you should see 6.60 here. You won't see the Pro C2 yet. We're going to do that after. Cool. So once you so once you have that and you're on update 6.60. Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna run the actual firmware update, which is this. And this will take some time to download as well. Cool, now let's go back to the computer and let's see how we can get some emulators. Okay, now that we're on the correct update and the correct firmware, we're good to start downloading emulators and ROMs that we want. So the first one we're gonna kind of go over is um, the Game Boy Advance emulator, which I think most people are looking for. Um, the one that I specifically use was GPSP. 
I found that it worked really well. I was able to find a good, a solid download for it. Once again, I'll include this, the one that I used in the description, but you can feel empowered to Google around, find your own link or find your own emulator and uh, a different emulator entirely. But once you download that, at least the one that we have in the description or the one that you find, um, you can click through and you can see there's a few different things. There's this GBA folder, font config, whatever. And so once we have that, we can go back to the same folder on our PSP. So we'll go to PSP slash game, and here we're in that folder. And so now we're gonna drag the emulator, the, the root level folder, and we're gonna um, drag it straight into this directory. And you can see that I already have it here. And so this allows us to now have the emulator. Well, now how do we get the games? So we're now done with the, with the emulator. Let's start downloading ROMs. Once again, I won't go over how you get the ROMs specifically, but if you just type in GBA ROMs, there'll be tons of websites in different places. Um, I've downloaded one as an example here. This is Pokemon Leaf Green. Um, and usually you can see the file name is .gba. So once you get these .gba files, um, you could go back to your, your USB drive for your PSP, go into the same folder, obviously the PSP game, and now we're gonna go in further into our new emulator. We're gonna go to GBA and we're gonna go into ROM. Now you can see I already have dozen, uh, dozens here, a bunch of different games. Each of them are like five megabytes, so they essentially take up no memory at all. Um, and so what you can do is you can just take it and you can drag it over. I already have it, so I won't do it here. But once we do that, we should be able to go into the PSP and see that we can play the game. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's exit USB mode. We'll give it a couple seconds. Now we can go back to the same folder. We'll go to our memory stick. And we can scroll down. And we now should see our emulator, the GPSP. And if we go into it, Once this opens up, we should be able to see the ROMs that we've pulled in. And I already had uh, Pokemon Leaf Green, but we can kind of go down to it. Uh, we can click through it and open it up. And you can play. So that's pretty much it. Oh, it looks like I opened up Ruby, but um, that's pretty much it for how you do, get Game Boy Advance. Now let's go through, um, and just to reiterate, the, the way that you do it for you to get ROMs is literally go into your browser, just type in GBA ROMs. There'll be tons of websites. Click on one that you trust or one that you like, um, and then you're just looking for those .gba files. So you'll download them, make sure you extract the right, the, right, um, the right file, and then you can pull it into the correct folder, and you should be good to go there. The last thing I want to go over is how you can get PSP games. You can see that I have a few here, um, like God of War, Final Fantasy Tactics, etc. So essentially any PSP game, it's a very similar process, but, but very slightly different. So we'll go over that and that'll be the last thing. Okay, so let's go over one last thing and that's how to get PSP games on your modded PSP. So this is very similar, but a bit different. So instead of us going into the PSP folder, into the game folder, then into our emulator, we obviously don't need an emulator because we're on a PSP. So what we're gonna do is on the, in the root directory at the top, where we see all these other folders in the USB drive of the PSP, we're gonna create a new folder, just like this, go to new folder, I already have it, um, but you would name it ISO, okay? And so once you create that, you should be good to go. You can go to your browser, once again, very similar to how we did it for Game Boy Advance, you're gonna type in PSP ROMs, you find your favorite website, and you can download the ROMs off that. And so I actually have some a, a couple local ISOs here. And so once you download them, um, obviously you can see that they're the right type. We have ISO files. You just drag and drop straight into it. And then now once you go back to your PSP, which we can go over very shortly, you should see these games uh, top level in that memory card under, under the game directory. So let's check it out. All right. So let's get a USB mode one last time. And now once you get a USB mode, you can go over to game and then you can go to memory stick. And just like you guys have seen all video long, as soon as you drop it in and you go back to this, you should see the game that you pulled over. And you can play it and save it just like it's a normal game. 
Awesome guys, so let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to respond to comments, but I just did this within the last week. Once again, all the files that I've shared down below are files that I'm using on this PSP um, that I found and they work for me. So the emulator, the firmware, the updates is, are all down below. Uh, but once again, you can feel free to kind of Google around and find your own. Same thing with the ROMs. I won't share those below, but you can make sure that you can find them online. There's tons of places to get them. But once again, let me know if you have any questions. Later.